What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lehnze and you're watching Get Germanized and today we're gonna talk about something that is not usually topic on my channel at all um, because I don't really talk about it that much. I should talk about it more and that's why I will in this video. Um, I decided to make this video after posting a picture on Facebook, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and other social media that I have taken in 2015 when I personally was at my lowest point ever. Basically, it's hard for me to talk about this now, but uh, depressed, fighting with anxiety and bad memories. I mean, anxiety is still a part of my life. Hopefully I will get over it. At some point I managed to fight off the depression for most parts, I would say. Um, but yeah, I was... <laughs> I don't like saying this, but I, I, I fear that I was suicidal at that point. Mm, I have never really shown this picture to anyone. Uh, and I have only made the decision to post this after I saw that it was uh, Suicide Prevention Day. Got me thinking that since it is a topic so close to my heart, which I will get into a little bit while reading the post that I connected to the picture, yeah, uh, well, I thought I had to say something about it and so I will. And I also thought after getting a massive positive reaction from you guys, positive, yes, but also a little bit shocking. I mean, I, not really for me because I suspected as much or knew as much that many of you out there have suffered from people committing suicide or have heard of them or know someone who has committed suicide or in the worst case you're going through it yourself <clears throat> like I have uh, struggling with the well with with it. And I will show you the picture. It's probably maybe in the thumbnail as well that I posted on Instagram. It's really a terrible picture of me. Uh, taken at, like I said, a very low point at that day and in my life in general. I think this might have been the saddest I've ever been in this picture. And that doesn't mean that people would have known because I didn't show this face to anyone, right? I showed this face to myself and deleted it right away, or in this case I kept it for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> that's the tricky part with depression, it doesn't always look like this. It doesn't look sad all the time, it, it looks different, it looks happy, it looks cheeky, it looks passionate. It looks different every day, different maybe even every hour or a minute. It's not something you can pinpoint and say, oh yeah, that person's depressed and that person is clearly not because he's laughing, she's laughing, right? That's not how it works, sadly. I mean, it would be much easier, right, to see the signs and to fight the illness, the mental illness that goes along with it most of the time, with being suicidal. Um, but yeah, let me let me read out this post. Sorry, this video isn't scripted, by the way, and I still got a little bit of a cold, so forgive me. Um, what I wrote was, Today is Suicide Prevention Day. I didn't know about this, so thank you, the Swedish lad, for reminding me. I took this photo when I was at my absolute lowest point ever, back in 2015. I never felt so sad before, and somehow it still occurred to me that I had to take a picture of this moment. I'm not sure why. Still I'm not. I'm fighting, I was fighting with bad memories and trauma and didn't know how to handle it. I also didn't take care of my health and was deficient in vitamin D3, which can severely influence your mood and many other processes inside your body. Reaching out to friends and family and taking better care of myself was what ultimately made a difference. My brother didn't choose to do that. He decided to end his life. <laughs> I 
in September 2009. To this day, I wish <clears throat> he had talked to me, or anyone for that matter, about what was going on inside his mind. <clears throat> I miss him very much and will probably never get over. get over what he chose to do by ending your own life you affect everyone around you you, you cause pain and trauma beyond anything you could imagine some say it's like a virus spreading what you felt to others and especially those you care for. I agree with this statement. So please, before you do anything, reach out to those you care for, or really anyone for that matter. It helps enormously to talk, or to just talk things through with someone. It might seem silly to you at first to talk to a stranger, about your problems, but therapy and help hotlines exist for a reason. By ending your own life, you rob yourself of the chance to meet amazing people and make experiences that will change the course for existence of your existence for the better. Uh, know I care about you. Know that others do too. People are sadly too busy sometimes to say how they really feel, but that doesn't mean they don't care. If you need help to reach out to uh, if you need help, reach out to someone. You can find a list of international help hotlines, help hotline numbers here. And then here's the link for that. It's also in my Instagram post. Um, and yeah, I've tagged some uh, mental health. Instagram pages in this as well. Maybe they helped spreading it. I'm not sure, but the amount of comments I got from uh, from you on this that was just amazing really, really was <clears throat> and that's why even though this video doesn't have anything to do with my channel usually it has something to do with my life and th therefore it is on here because this channel for me is to talk about uh, things that are important to me. Yes, teaching people about things is important to me, but this also is very important to me, if not even more important, since this is, this is also teachable, isn't it? Uh, and excuse me. Uh, yeah, this yesterday was super emotional and today apparently is too, so that's great. <laughs> hey, first video on the internet, I think, where I was this emotional, that's a, that's a first. But yeah, anyway, all I wanted to say is that you do have a choice. And also what I told someone else, because people have reached out to me as well who, who are suicidal at the moment, right now and I tried to help them. But if you see someone who I have an answer to, for example, or if you think you can add something, please do that in the comments or whenever you see someone like that on the internet or in real life, it, it might just be you talking to them what makes the difference in the end, you know? 
they might not have anyone to talk to or feel that they don't have anyone to talk to and we all are very busy I know but I think we can all muster a minute or two for someone who really needs help and if you're a strong person if you if you have your life figured out if you know exactly what to do in these situations then that's even better help them help the other people that that don't know that are lost that feel like they have no way out other than ending it so please don't ignore comments like like the one I responded to for example or the couple of comments that I saw that I responded to because we are easy or we're quick to judge those people right are they just looking for attention or but maybe that's the only way for reaching out to someone maybe in real life they're too scared to do it I've definitely been there I didn't talk to many people or anyone I, I don't even remember it's been a while now but the internet always was like a safe haven in a way and still is for many people um, so please help them and also I wanted to read through a couple of your comments that I got not naming any names don't worry or, or revealing too many details that could lead to you as a person but I feel like because you shared this publicly you want your comment your impact to well your comment to impact other people right so let's try this together shall we a comment here for example said that they didn't even recognize me in that picture and I think that is a very important thing to keep in mind when you are in a state like that that's not really you not really like I said at least it's you in a way yes but you're covered in, oh, in in layers and layers of dirt of of weights that you cannot lift yourself or you think you cannot lift it yourself but in the end there is a way I for example suggested this was just for me that what worked for me in the end suggested to a person I didn't suggest anything I just told them what worked for me in the end right reaching out to friends and family yes I think I gnawed people's ears off so many hours and times and I'm really thankful to all my friends and family who have listened over and over and over and over uh, but also realizing that life isn't about what others give you to feel better all the time or finding happiness in another person I mean if that works for you out for you that's great but it doesn't have to be that way it's not a for, like that for everyone and most people I feel need to be happy with themselves and in themselves first because if, if I saw this really interesting comment the other day or I think it was even a video where someone said if you just love yourself 30% that's not a whole lot, is it? And if then someone comes along that loves you 40%, which isn't really that much either, then you think, wow, that's so much. And then, of course, that relationship cannot come to fruition fully because you're both not really loving yourself or you as a person, right? <laughs> you just feel they love you so much because they love you a little bit better and more than, than you do yourself. And so you have to try to come to a point in your life where you love yourself so much that if anyone else wants to be in your life, they have to love you even more. And that person will be the right person for you then. But until that point, I think you need to reach that point where you love yourself. Maybe at first only 30%, 50, 60, 80, 100%. Growing. Um, and how I try to do that, I'm, I mean, I definitely still don't like some things about myself, but I'm th I think I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty good person. I try to treat others well. I try to, or I tr still try to uh, help others when I can uh, with this video, for example. But uh, yeah, how I tried. I read a lot of books about self-help, not all of them worked. Power of Now was one that uh, I really liked, 
that made me try to get out of this constant loop of thoughts. Because I was stuck in a loop of thoughts for a long time where, where I would do mundane things and then suddenly this thought came into my mind again and it would just repeat, 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 repeat the whole day. Uh, I couldn't get rid of it. And trying to focus on what you're doing in the moment, the power of now basically, was very helpful to me and uh, I have become pretty good at it, to be honest. I don't spend much time, if I don't want to, thinking about the past or the future anymore. Only, I mean, you saw how emotional I still get when talking out loud about some things. And I don't think I will ever get over this. I don't think I want to, to be honest. I want to keep my brother in, in my memory and in my emotions as well. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Well, okay, what else worked for me? I, I started meditating. Sounds like some hippy-dippy bullshit, but it's really not. It's really just giving yourself time to not think about stuff. Time to breathe, time to relax, time to just be with yourself and have time for yourself. Not think about your work, your hobbies, whatever else is occupying your mind all this time. Letting the thoughts that you might be afraid of come into consciousness, come into reach. It might be scary at first, but don't try to get rid of them. Don't try to hinder them in any way. Just let them flow by, observe them, and let them, let them go away on their own. And at some point, if you become better and better and better at this, it's, at first it might be hard, but you will become better at this. And then also the control over your thoughts will be easier than it was before. That definitely helped me. Now that um, I don't feel that bad anymore, I have to admit I don't do it as much anymore. I should, um, because it was really, or is really nice and helpful. But yeah, also something else. <laughs> I definitely need to pick up again is more uh, being more active and working out as a youtuber I sit on my butt a lot in front of my computer so that that doesn't really do the mind any good right you need to be active go out what I like to do is hiking I really do uh, just explore new places uh, that's what I like to do the most to be honest I, I do other workouts like P90X and stuff like that but that's more like oh yeah haven't done it in a while, let's do it. And that's not the right approach. I think you need to find something that you love doing, out in nature, maybe even, if possible, like biking, hiking, whatever it is, and stick to it, other than me. I'm not the best example for sports or being active. I've never been. Uh, but yeah, I still enjoy it. And yeah, that helped me. Uh, something else, finding new hobbies, uh, like I started painting miniatures, I started playing Dungeons and Dragons, which is a really good character building exercise, to be honest, because this improv improvisational, how do you say that? I don't know, this improv acting, I've never really done before. I mean, for YouTube, yeah, a little bit, but reacting to other people and just creating a character, not being afraid of making certain choices and seeing how it affects everyone around you in that scenario. It's just super helpful in character building. So um, do that if you want to. Uh, don't be afraid to try. There's cool pages online like Roll20, um, for example, where you can find people to play online with, or there's uh, Facebook groups, a lot of Facebook groups with people in your area that play D&D or other role-playing games and that you can join. Or if you're not into nerdy stuff like that, then uh, try something else. Try group meetings of other sorts. Maybe you find workout partners or people that go out together and have fun together or whatever. That's also a possibility. Um, try to mingle with people more again, because when you are in that state, you tend to just isolate yourself and not do anything with anyone anymore, or not wanting to do that. I remember a phase in my life where I said, Ah, uh, damn, I have enough friends I don't need anymore. I, I just wanted, to be honest, I, I just wanted someone else to be happy with, like a relationship partner at that point. That's so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Uh, that's not the right approach. You cannot seek your happiness in someone else all the time. That's not going to work in the long term. At least if it's not the right person for you. And so... 
yeah, I, I tried to, I don't know, I, I was so focused on that one point of my life that everything else wasn't important or it was annoying even like, oh, people who just want to be friends, F off. Like, you know, I was really bitter, uh, really angry as well. So don't be me back then, be me now. <laughs> Well, uh, or someone else who likes to make friends because I do, I find joy in that again, uh, meeting new people and just being friends with them. Girls too, yes, <laughs> that, is, that is a possibility for sure. Um, no, but yeah, don't try that. Try meeting people. Maybe you will meet someone who has gone through similar things that you can talk to. Uh, I'm surprised all the time by people who I know for many years already and to admit it that they are also depressed or anxious or any, like, uh, any other mental illness you can imagine or that they know someone who has committed suicide recently even or years ago and if you don't start talking about it they never might and so definitely do that to use this line of communication with people you already know but also try to meet new people. By looking through the comments here, I see that, I mean, I've seen this before, but I'm telling this you now as well, that many people have lost close family members uh, to suicide or other accidents and mental illness. And it's really shocking. <sighs> but it also shows me that I think everyone will benefit from us talking about this more and not to, like handling it as like a secret stigma because there's even a mother who wrote a comment here that said she was offended when someone reached out to her about her child and saying oh your child is depressed and should go to uh, therapy and she felt attacked as a mother which is understandable of course in a way but that also still shows me that there is still this big bad stigma on mental illness and like oh if my child has mental illness that must mean it's my fault i mean in some cases in really bad cases that might be the case but mostly it isn't um for me it definitely isn't my parents fault it's uh, definitely other triggers that got you, you, I talked about this. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Oh, but we need to talk about it, Dominic. I did already. But yeah, anyway. Um, so there is a stigma still attached to this. But to sum up, this mother decided, luckily, fast enough to help her child and send her to therapy. And the, the, the kid is now doing really well and really happy, finding joy in life again. So just seeing the signs is really important and it's not always easy like i said uh, people with mental illness often wear a mask that you cannot peek through at all sometimes they do a really good job of hiding it because they're embarrassed or feel like that they are a burden on others which is not correct of course but you cannot think straight you don't even think of you know oh it might be easier if I opened up to someone. But anyway, this video is really long already and um, thank you for sticking with me until the end, if you did. Uh, I need some water now because my voice is going and I'm, because I still have a cold. And I hope that I addressed everything I wanted to address and that is important. If you have anything to add, personal stories, experiences, tips, uh, please let me know and let all of us know in the comments below. It would be really helpful, thank you. And if you are struggling at the moment, like I said, there's help hotlines um, here, the link again. I'm also, also going to put that in the video description to a page with lots of help hotline numbers. Even if you just Google uh, suicide hotline or help hotline, there will be numbers showing up. Talk to friends and family. Um, talk to people in the comments. Uh, this should be an open discussion round, an open, uh, well, place for everyone to get help and seek help as well and offer help too so thank you my heartfelt thank you for listening to this and sticking with me until the very end uh, and let me know what you think about me talking about well more serious things like this i mean this is definitely something i would have done either way even if all of you said nah i would have still done it because this is this is important 
and this exceeds borders and exceeds languages and I think it's important to everyone. So again, vielen Dank, thank you and see you next time.